Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about V, the second generation. For those of you who don't know, uh, V was originally a mini-series that ran uh, sometime in I think the early 80s. It's basically a uh, science fiction mini-series about these visitors that come to the planet Earth and they at first seem friendly, you know, but eventually we do come across very, or comes across to the main characters that they have some very unfriendly desires for our species and for our planet's resources and uh, yeah. There are plenty of turns and twists and stuff with some very good writing characters and overall it's just a very interesting and very good miniseries. It also has uh, that, I forgot his name, he played Freddy Krueger, you know, in there before he became Freddy Krueger and, you know, that was interesting and, uh, yeah. Anyway, in addition to this, there was like a couple, there's like a movie and a TV show that I didn't see that was also around, I think, the mid to late 80s. I think it was a straight to, D, straight to I think it was a TV movie called V the Final Battle and another series, um, and I think another show which I never got around to seeing, you know, and then there was a, uh, a show that was made in, I think, the mid, mid to late 2000s, I think, which I actually do remember seeing a couple of, seeing a few episodes and even just checking it out at my local library, because they have, like, the whole series that's on DVD, which is only one season long, which makes sense, because it was not very good, you know, at least not, in, at least it wasn't very good in comparison to the original miniseries, but, you know, like, <clears throat> but get, getting back to this year, it's obviously going to be taking place several uh, decades after the events of the miniseries, and the... <clears throat> And uh, there's some things that I can't. And uh, essentially, the plot is like, like I said, several years after that. On, um, but now they're trying to. They found ways to like, um, like really put the resistance down hard. And the um, it's this thing called the Great Purge of '99. There's also um, like some like final plans, like how they figure out like some better ways to like extract the resource from the planet earth and in addition to this there's also this other species called I think it's the Zeti and um, you know we're kind of wondering like are they friend are they foe or are they going to be like doing the you know are we going to be exchanging one um, you know you know dictator for another and um, they have that whole mystery thing going on there's the <clears throat> As we're as humanity is basically stuck between the wars, or stuck between the two species, or super duper powers, I guess you could say, and um, yeah, <clears throat> not really much more I can really give without uh, you know putting up major spoilers or whatever. But yeah, you know the the whole um, <clears throat> mystery of like the whole adventure of like going from you know these two species which they actually do hit, talk about like maybe there are other species out there and um, I don't know if they come here because of the satellite signals that we've been sending out since the original miniseries or since the events of the original miniseries or they just came across this afterward but whatever <clears throat> it's not, I guess it's not really important and um, <clears throat> yeah and um, even though um, it does help to watch the original miniseries, um, I don't necessarily think it's all that necessary to get what's going on, because obviously all you really need to know is from here, you know, the uh, visitors came in, they took over, now they kind of rule the place, and there are resistance forces that are stopping them, and yeah which is all made perfectly clear in this, and, um, <clears throat> yeah, overall, <clears throat> I found, like, overall, um, 
but even so, um, I kind of found that there was like a kind of slow on the starting, you know, but or just kind of slow to get stuff going, and like in the end it felt kind of abrupt, but overall, you know, like the, the whole world was very interesting, you know, as you know, you can really picture stuff like the, the, um, <clears throat> Like uh, the, the landscape, the lands i mean, the landscape that they, you know, talk about, you know, with, uh, you know, the, <clears throat> like, you know, the oceans and the different, you know, uh, landscape and, yeah. It, again, I can't really get much. What? Well, the <clears throat> not getting like major. Well, I guess no. It's not really much of a. I guess it's really only spoiler for the miniseries, but, you know, um, yeah, but I, I think, I'd, and really it's the miniseries that I don't want to spoil here, because, like, although this was entertaining, I found that, like, the story in the miniseries was just way better, but even though, even so, I'd still say this was very entertaining, you know, <clears throat> overall. I give my personal recommendation of a 4 out of 5. Re recommended, you know. It's like, uh, although I still recommend re I mean, watching and tracking down the original miniseries and, uh, you know, and, you know, watching that first. Although there's one thing in the miniseries that I would think would be a much bigger deal in the book, but isn't. And, um,. But, uh, yeah, anyway, um, overall, very great, fun, uh, fun read, light read, check it out, yeah. Anyway, um, next time, I'm going to be talking about a topic that is actually very close to me, that, you know, growing up, and, uh, yeah, until next time, see you later, keep yourselves awesome, bye going out and supporting your local bookstores, libraries, whatever, with your patronage, donations, money, and so on and so forth, and have a good day.